Do you look at your closet and you feel discouraged and perhaps embarrassed like me right now? Let me show you what I do to declutter and organize my closet with my closet clean out and reset routine. I have been putting this closet clean out aside for months as I have developed a dislike to my closet even when I simply look at it. Every time I look in my closet, I feel it is a constant reminder that in the past two years I've gained weight, I feel that the majority of my clothes do not really fit me anymore, hence my closet being full to the brim with clothes I love, but I do not wear to the point I cannot even make space between my hangers. So I deal with the overflow by stuffing my outfit on the side of the closet and in bags and boxes to make everything fit. After my Sunday reset routine, I was inspired and today is the day I do a full closet clean out with a complete declutter and organize to start anew, not to be afraid anymore, to open my closet and to be able to wear the clothes that fit me and makes me feel good. So whether you're watching the video or putting me in the background while you are doing your own closet clean out, I hope we can help each other stay motivated, have fun and keep ourselves company. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah Monka, and on my channel I share all facets of my orthodox Sephardic Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tickle and let's jump into it. My first step is to remove both doors of the closet and I do this with a lot of grace, poise and panache making sure I take out the frame next to the closet with me as well. I remove the doors as not only I will navigate better and avoid banging in the doors every two seconds but also and most importantly for you to see the process better as well as destroying my walls while I'm at it. Once both doors are removed, I start emptying the closet. I take out my clothes and put them on our beds. I try to make small piles so I can go through them when I will purge my closet because once again my goal today is not only to clean out my closet but also declutter and organize it. Once I'm done removing everything that was on a hanger, I will remove everything from the shelves. On the upper one, I will find freestanding handbags. And also I have my cork roll to eventually do a jewelry station in my closet, which will be for another time. I also have my swimming bag and I will show its content a bit later in the video. I also store my extra stethoscope way up there. I don't know why. <laughs> As you can see, I have so many things stuffed in my closet that I'm being literally attacked by its content. I also have a Modéani or morning prayer in my closet. Why is it there? I have no clue. Do you have crazy things in your closet too? If yes, I would love to know what it is and let me know in the comments below. Once the shelves are empty, I will start the bottom of the closet, which is even worse than the top. I remove everything starting with the piled up clothes in the corner. I do not know about you, but I find that I am in a season where I need some change. I need a fresh outlook, a fresh start, as these past two years were not easy on me, especially at work, and I need a good refresh or new beginning. And this is why I'm trying to get my house in order because of a messy house for me means a messy mind. I remove this bag filled with random items. I also pick up all my dressy boots. And finally, I will remove this mystery box. On top of the shoe rack, there's a lot of stuff to be put aside. It's a mismatch of backpack clothes, including the famous pair of slippers they give at the mikveh or Jewish ritual bath. I finally remove the shoe rack from the closet. And now I can see clearly what I'm working with. 
to be honest, I'm so embarrassed by the state of my closet, but I wanted to share with you my process because if it can help even one of you to say to yourself, hey, my closet is not that bad and motivate you to clean it, then the embarrassment is worth it. Of course, I will vacuum from the top to bottom. I will start with the shelves. I will also vacuum the moldings on the upper part of the closet. Then I go to the closet rod. And finally, I will do the lower moldings as well as the floor. To see all the dust being removed is quite satisfying for me. But maybe it's just me. Once everything is vacuumed, I will clean the floor, the walls, and everything in between with this cleaner from Ertel. I love this product because it is biodegradable and this lavender scent is amazing. Maybe it is an old folk tale, but my grandmother always told us to put lavender in our closets and wherever we store clothes as it repulses insects like moth. Did you ever hear of that or is that another urban legend? Let me know in the comments below. Once the closet is fully clean, I will start the decluttering. I bring in the room three bins, one for the things I will give away, one for the clothes that fits but are not the right season, and the last one is for the clothes I love, but they do not fit me the way I want just yet. I line the giveaway bin with a trash bag to make it harder for me to see what's inside and to look at its content and to avoid for me being tempted to take anything back in my closet. I start the final phase of my decluttering and organizing with my handbags. The bins were already clean, so I simply organize my purses by height and size. I keep my purses in bins so they do not fall all over the place, and most of my handbags are hand-me-down from my mom and my family. For me, my vintage purses have a family history, and I feel somehow more connected to my mishpacha or family through them. This bin is all done, so I can go to the next one. In this bin, I have all the bigger purses and bags. I will fold the bag so they take less space. I love this bag. It is from Longchamp. It is so versatile. I had it for years now and it is still amazing, even if it's a hand-me-down from my mom. I repeat the process folding every bag to make sure they take as little space as possible. So this is why I'm refolding this other Longchamp bag. Once I'm done, I'm simply going to put this bin next to the other one until we're ready to put them back in place. My last bin is where I keep my belts. It is not the best looking system, but it works for me as it is so simple. And if there's a hot mess in it, no problem. At least it's tucked away in a bin. As you can see, I simply roll the belt onto itself, then put it back in the bin. To have more space on my bed, I will start putting back the bins in the closet. I start with the belts, then the handbags. I continue with my medical bag and then some freestanding handbags. I think it looks already so much better. How about you? What do you think? Does it look better already? The next item I need to put back in my closet is my swimming bag, and here is what it contains. I have slippers as well as bathing caps and goggles as well as my swimsuit. And if you want to know more on how we stay modest at the pool, I will refer you back to our Jewish hotel tour where I go in more details and I will leave the link above and in the description box below. I put back all the miscellaneous articles as well. And now I'm ready to start with the decluttering and organization of my clothes. My system is very simple when it comes to what I keep and what will end up in one of the three bins behind me. I do my own version of the KonMari method. I touch the item and right away I see what I feel. If I like it, it stays, but it can be still too small so it will end up in the do not fit yet bin or if it is the wrong season, it will go in the wrong season bin. And if I did not use it in the last two years, it is donated, like this Zara sweater with tags that I have not worn now for more than two years. I hope it will make somebody very happy. 
I repeat the same system for the next pile. Most of the items here are what I wear regularly, so I can go through that pile quite easily beside a few items that are out of season and or too small. The rest will stay in the closet. In the next pile, I'm going to be putting away a lot of clothes that are for another season in the out of season bin, so it goes pretty fast. In total so far, it took me an average of two minutes per pile to go through my clothes. If you're wondering why I do not remove every piece of clothes from their hanger, it is because unless an item slides off the hanger easily, like a vest or something folded on the hanger, unbuttoning an item or removing the hanger by having to pass it through the bottom of the clothes could possibly take too much time, it could get me distracted and or frustrate me as removing clothes from hangers can take precious minutes away from my motivation to finish my task. I really want to go through my clothes as soon as possible to avoid overthinking things and keeping way too many items. I will remove the clothes from the hangers a bit later because I want to stay focused on my goal for today which is to clean, declutter and organize my closet and to have the satisfaction to cross it off from my to-do list and move forward towards a clean house to have a clear mind. In a nutshell, organizing bins is not my priority and worse comes to worse, I'll just do it another day. Finally, I went through all the piles of clothes. It took me less than 15 minutes. Now comes the fun part, which is to put back all the clothes. I put back all my dresses, including my henne dress. And if you want for me to do a more detailed video on what is considered modest in our way of dressing as Orthodox Jewish women and how I dress at work on Shabbat, special occasion like a wedding or a henne, please let me know in the comments below. I add my skirts and here is a little hack I use for the closet to look even more put together. To avoid the edges of my skirt being of different length, I fold the edges of the top of the skirt and this way all the skirts have the same width. Doesn't it look prettier? I would love to know if you like it that way. I then add the tops. I start by the black tops and finish with the lighter colors. I find myself wear a lot more black outfits than anything else. I find it more professional, flattering and also solo maintenance. How about you? Do you have a favorite color for you to dress in? Another tip I put in practice is to use the same kind of hangers to help minimize the visual clutter of my closet. For my closet, I only use some velvet hangers, skirt hangers and the heavier black plastic hanger for the heavier items. Finally, I can move my hangers with ease. Once the clothes are back, I put back the shoes. I do a quick overview of the shoe rack and I will donate these shoes I bought from Amazon as the seller refused for me to return them even though I ordered a size 10, remember I'm 5'9", thank god, and the actual size was a size 8. I kept them for two years but now it is time for someone else to be happy with them. Tell me something, would you like them? <laughs> I also give away these baby shoes and I will put in the garbage these shoes that I have seen better days. Finally, I'm able to put back the shoe rack. Before I put back my dressy boots in the closet, I will show you another trick to make any closet look more put together. If you're wondering, these are brand new boots, I have never worn them before and this is why I feel comfortable putting them directly on my bed. I leave the shaper of the boot in the boot and to avoid for the top to flip flop all over the closet, I tuck the edge on the side of the boot. This way the boot stays upright and nothing hangs on the floor. I can finally put back my dressy boots in the closet and I also add my small ankle or short ankle boots. Because I feel I still have energy, I will take out the hangers from the clothes from our triage. Just to put things in perspective, it took me more than 7 minutes per bin to remove the clothes from the hangers and place the clothes in the bin. So in total, for the two bins, it would have slowed me down by 15 minutes and let me tell you that my will and determination can vanish in 15 minutes. And just in case you are wondering, I did remove more than 50 hangers from my closet, allowing me to have much, much more space. 
The final touch to help me stay organized is to add this little bin already lined with a garbage bag so I can put the clothes that do not fit me anymore and be able to donate it as soon as possible instead of piling clothes in the corner. So here is the final result of my complete closet clean out that took me about an hour and 17 minutes from start to finish, including removing the doors, taking out the clothes, going through the clothes, putting things back and taking off all the clothes from the hangers. For an hour of work, it now allows me to look at my closet with joy, knowing I love all the items inside. They all fit me and it quiets my mind with my negative self-talk. What do you think? Is the final result a yay or a nay? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. And know that in my book, my life would not be the same without you. And if you are here until the end, please write in the comments. I love a fresh start so I know I was not alone. And if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.